All right, welcome back to the Human Anatomy Lab at Ohio University. I'm Professor Klein. This is... I'm a junior in the nursing program. My name is Kyle. I'm here to help out today film this video, so let's get at it. And today, we're talking about cranial nerve number one. one. Settle down, Professor Klein. It's okay. I know you're excited, but we're just going to... The students aren't probably as excited as you are, so let's uh, let's get into it, all right? This is a super important nerve, though. I gotta keep my nerves under control because it's the olfactory nerve. What does that do? Why don't you tell them what that does? That's the sense of smell. All right, let's jump into it. Zoom on in here, and let's first look at where this cranial nerve is on the brain. So we're looking at the brain here, and I wanna give you a full kind of 360 of the brain anterior, posterior, lateral. So let's look at it from a medial view so we can see the inside. Can't really see olfactory nerve, cranial nerve one, but if you flip it to an inferior view, that's what you're looking at right here. You can see the olfactory track and the olfactory bulb travel out to the frontal lobe. So Someone's nose would be right about here, and that's where this is traveling to. So let's put this into the skull here, give you a view. All right, all right. So it kind of sits in just like that. You can see the outside. And if we take this out, we can see here we got the olfactory track in through here with the yellow olfactory bulb. Let me zoom in there. And this is where it sits in the uh, skull. But you know what, Kyle? The all olfactory track and the olfactory bulb is not actually the cranial nerve. What happens if you zoom in here is the track leads out to the bulb, but the bulb, like you said, goes through the cribriform plate and hangs down into the nasal cavity. So if you were to look at it and have a better visual, it would look something like this. Have your green pipe cleaner going down the cribriform plate, and then if you turn it around, we got it coming out, out through the nose there. And that's how you're gonna smell. All right, so we're gonna introduce a clinical test here. I want you guys to pause the video here and uh, just get up, look around your space, your room, whatever, go in your closet, find some stinky laundry, maybe you got some coffee laying around, something to get those olfactory nerves working. Uh, go find something. It's Kyle. Let's find something so that we can do the test on each other. Sounds good. Here we found something after a little bit of a search right a little bit of a search hopefully you found something as well here's the actual clinical test now with the patient remember we're always introducing ourselves when you walk in the room stating your name and your title as well as saying what is their name and date of birth checking their wristband so i'd say uh sir what is your name and date of birth my name is kyle corbett birthday is uh september 3rd 1998 would you like to verify Excellent, check that. You gotta know you're treating the right patient. Next, I'm gonna give a quick overview of the test. Say, Kyle, today we're gonna be testing for cranial nerve number one. This is the olfactory nerve. And what I'm gonna have you do is close your eyes, okay. plug one side of your nose, and tell me if you can smell this marker. All right, so before he does that, he's kinda, he's got some good initiative here. He already started. Any questions before we get started? Uh, is this uh, gonna hurt me in any way? This won't hurt you. I'm not gonna mark your nose or anything like that. I just want you to tell me if you can smell it. Okay. All right, you can go ahead and close your eyes and plug one side of your nose. Smell it. All right, go ahead and plug the other side. Always test both sides bilaterally, but one side at a time. Can you smell that? Right. Normal on both sides for cranial number 
one, so he passed the test. Obviously, in a real test, we would not use a marker or whatever you found at home. But for this video and this at-home activity, that's okay that you used it. All right, so that has been the overview of cranial nerve number one, the olfactory nerve. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn the bell <laughs> notifications on for this video. Oh man, only if you want to, only if you want to. Thanks, thanks for watching, for watching guys. Three, two, one. All right, thanks everybody. Right. We'll, we'll catch, catch you in the, in the next, next one. one. <laughs> thanks, thanks for watching. watching. Catch, catch you in the next one. one.